What were the, sorry, what were the questions again? <laughs> Oh wow. Oh my god. If I'm having a bad hair day, nothing will go right. My whole day will go wrong and I'll feel self-conscious. Wearing my hair like this every day. Just don't feel feminine. I'm gonna start getting emotional. Oh, don't get it's all it's all Is it almost like you would love for someone to just be able to come up to you and say, I love what you've done with your hair yeah. today? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't even really think about it. It's just like, OK, this is the way that I look mm -hmm. every morning when I look in the mirror. I'm Carol, and I'm here to face my phobia of hairdressers. I'm Georgie, and I'm here today to celebrate that I'm a redhead. I'm Lissy, and I'm here today to pamper myself because I don't get to do it very often. I'm Justine, and I'm here today to feel like a 32-year-old woman instead of a 15-year-old schoolgirl. So I grew up in Cornwall. We were the only, like, family in our town, so I think most hairdressers were just terrified of our hair. In fact, I didn't go to a hairdresser until I was 18. While I have my own personal hairdresser at home in the form of my husband, it's by no means on the professional level. I cut my own fringe, I think, just from bad experiences with hairdressers. Nobody knew I had alopecia, I didn't tell anybody. I think because I've been wearing my hair the same since, since I was 15 years old, it's the only way I could cover my hair without people being able to see that, you know, I have ball patches. I had my child, um, and about six months later, um, I lost all my hair. I didn't go out of my front door for two years. I just didn't feel like, like a woman. Normally, I'll come out of a hairdresser, go home, wash my hair, want to put a hat on, um, put a load of products in it to calm it down and so on. I don't really feel like I'm in control of it. I had my, my daughters, I've got two daughters, and um, when I was pregnant with the first one, I did hope in some ways that she wouldn't have red hair because because of the stick you get at school. But um, when she was born and she had lots of thick red hair and I thought she was so beautiful, I guess at that point I realised that I'd have to be a role model and, um, and show her that there's nothing to be ashamed of. Other people's mums, have, they go to hairdressers, have their hair done and that all the time and they're glamorous. I don't know, just for yeah, my daughter to look at me and go, you look amazing, that would be really nice. Oh my God, oh. <laughs> it doesn't look like me. It feels so much thicker. <laughs> this is it, this is what I wanted. Oh, perfect. Can I turn around? Wow, it's fantastic, I love it. Oh my God. Thank you, <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> Wow, <clears throat> that looks amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it.